Hello fellow travelers and welcome to Exit Through the Gift Shop. Today we are exploring the extensive collection of uh, movie memorabilia and collectibles at Toy Traders in Langley, BC. Anything you could ever uh, imagine they have covered. Director and comic book fan Kevin Smith recently paid a visit to Toy Traders and with this much to see and explore it's not uh, hard to see why he is a fan of uh, Toy Traders as well. Right over here there we have uh, the Ghostbusters taking down the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. On this side we have some actual movie props that were donated by Neil Blomkamp to Toy Traders. This is the Scout Police robot from Chappie and behind it you can see the uh, police bot from Elysium. So these are real functional articulated movie props, full life size, very cool. Alien Predator trophy plaques, and up here, full life-size alien busting out of the wall, right up above, creepy. Traders also has an extensive collection of new and used vintage toys, uh, so we're going to poke around and see if I can find any of the toys that I had as a youth. I've located the He-Man collectibles over here, uh, a couple I recognize. The battle action He-Man, so uh, this one actually showed battle damage when you were uh, battling with your big figurines uh, as it would, uh, as they would bash into each other, the battle damage scars would actually uh, show on that center section on his chest plate right up there. I also recognize up here they have just a few Castle Grey Skulls. I had that as well as a youth. Uh, that one was a casualty of a garage sale many years ago. All right, looking over the Toy Traders Wall of Fame. See everyone from Walking Dead to Elvira. signed picture with the DeLorean, Ghostbusters, James Earl Jones, Darth Vader, over in the Transformers section I've spotted this one, don't recognize the uh, right here the blue and red and gray jet. Uh, if, if anyone watching knows the name of this one, uh, let me know, post in the comments below. Uh, I did have this one as a kid, wish I still had it. Uh, it looks like it's selling for about $70 and that's missing a few pieces as well. So um, that's a little blast from the past for me. I've completely forgotten about these, uh, these little tape deck transformers. But I know I used to have those as a kid as well bit of a collection. It'd be cool to open some of these up and see what they turn into. Signed Cousin It collectible. We've got Sean Connery, Walking Dead, Stan Lee. Pretty much represented from every genre. Two Toy Traders from Big Bird, Carol Spinney. Ever popular, the Star Wars action figures. These seem to be quite 
quite popular, and depending on the character, it would be character in the series seemed to fetch quite a price tag. I didn't have any of these myself, but I had friends who did, and I uh, wish I did have some of these, because some of the more rare ones, the earlier versions, seem to fetch quite a price. I bet there's uh, people out there right now with untold riches uh, hiding in their basement. A box of Star Wars action figures. From Fallout. superhero action figures. Looking down here, there's a couple that, uh, that I know that I had as a kid. I recognize the Aquaman and uh, the Robin, and there's probably a few more that I had as well. Here we go. Here are the droids I'm looking for. Life-size Star Wars figures. C-3PO, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, and Han encased in Carbonite. Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. Not to mention in behind the full setup of Castle Grayskull and all of, these, uh, all of the He-Man uh, figurines as well. Slimer, Chucky, and right here, Gremlins. And that classic Sonic is much better than the new video game movie design of Sonic. Look out, Joker. I'm Batman. Swords. See if you can recognize any of these. Post your comments below. Classic Simpsons arcade game, complete with giant Bart Simpson on top. Uh, pop guns. 
see if there's anything else that I had as a youth. All right. Anybody have one of these? Magnetic gyro wheel. Very cool. And I'm intrigued by the secret box. And look who it is. I almost didn't even see my thunder buddy, Ted. Up on the wall, the old guys from the Muck Show. They better watch out right above. Alien. Luckily, he's armed with a lightsaber. Banana. They've even got bobbleheads. John Wayne, Bob Ross, Einstein, and of course, Baby Trump. Do 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 do. So hidden away with the used games, I found Trump the game. Because who wouldn't want to play this? I'm back, and you're fired. Yours for only $39.95. So this place is awesome. Everywhere you look, there's some sort of uh, collectible or memorabilia. Uh, there's always something to see, uh, not to mention it's a very extensive toy store too. So they've got toys, games, comics, uh, collectibles, um, just about anything toy related you want. And it's not just all, um, uh, all sci-fi fantasy. Uh, there's a lot of kids section too. There's kids use toys. Uh, if, you have, uh, if you have toys that you're done with, you can bring back, uh, bring them in, trade them in, get something new so they can have something new that they're not bored with. Um, you know, overall, this is, uh, this is a must visit. Uh, you can see why uh, Kevin Smith uh, loves this place. Uh, I'll try and put a link to his, uh, his visit down below as well. But um, overall, uh, A plus uh, must visit if you're in the area. Check it out uh, if you love this sort of thing at all. For now, it's time to exit through the gift shop. Thank you, guys. Ch -ch -ch